Hey, Donnie Walker here. How's it going? Happy New Year again, everyone. Hope uh, your Friday's going good, TGIF. I had a fellow that was messaging me about his Husky 181 saw. He rebuilt the carb and um, did a bunch of stuff on it and it still kind of runs and dies out. It ran before and now it doesn't. So I kind of explained to him about a bunch of things, uh, checking the fuel line and the carburetor and he's watched my video on doing the tilts and carburetor i found it assemble it right so so hopefully he did it all correct which he figures he has bonus i just want to show you something on intake gaskets so a lot of people mess up on 288s 281s uh 181s because the tilts and carb kit the h rk 23 hs carb kit comes with your diaphragms your metering diaphragm, your fuel pump diaphragms, and a carb gasket. This is actually a 394 carb gasket, but in the kit they have like a black carb gasket that is kind of shaped like this, but even a little bit smaller. So what I want to show you is how people make the mistake of using that gasket instead of the OEM original one. This here is a 181 cylinder. You see here, here's your intake of the cylinder part itself. Your pulse hole right here and your bolt holes. When changing the carburetor, doing the carburetor on these saws, a lot of people just take the carb off and, and, the, and the insulator block here. It's hard to get everything lined back up properly unless you're really good at it to get everything back in sequence making sure that the gasket on the insulator block is in good shape. Put a new one on if you have one. If not, put a little bit of glue on it, but do not plug that hole for your pulse or it won't run the fuel pump. So I've always taken the cylinders and carbs off at the same time. That way I can check the motor out and put it together right. Everything lines up properly. So once this is on here like so, you want to use the OEM cylinder or carb gasket you notice it, it's a bit bit rounder and bigger than the ones that come in the tillotson kit so if you use the one in the tillotson kit on these model of saws they'll suck air on this surface here they don't seal right on the impulse channel here or properly on the insulator block so you need to use the oem one if you use the one out of the kit you're going to suck air and it ain't going to run. It'll, it'll, it'll start and die, start and die, okay? So either get a new one of these or you can glue this too with a little bit of glue. But again, do not get it in the pulse hole here or your fuel pump won't run. So that's just a quick video of showing you if you're rebuilding an old Husky like this to make sure you're using the right gasket. Some people have made that mistake. Even uh, mechanics that have worked for me have. And then they wonder what was going on. So then I had to show them that little situation there. Anyways, just thought I'd do a quick video and show you guys that. Or gals, or children. <laughs> Anyways, all right. Keep your saw on it, sticking nice, rubbing around. Way to go, Junior Canada team last night. Excellent tournament. I love watching hockey on the tournaments. I don't watch it every night, but I like watching good uh, good tournaments in the hockey. So, yeah, way to go, Canada, again, and checks and the rest of them. TGIF, have a great Friday. Hope you uh, get out and do some wood cutting this weekend or fishing or whatever you want to do, snowmobiling, skiing. It's raining like heck out here right now. We're supposed to have a wet weekend, so I might just do some puttering around in here, finish off a few projects that I'm way behind on or probably shouldn't have started anyways. <laughs> I got too much to do. Okay. Have a good weekend. Bye.